It's all too easy to judge a place and its people on the image it portrays to the outside world. The reality is often far removed from what the visitors to Tenby or any other UK holiday destination can see. Mental illness is similar, hidden from view beneath the surface. Mayor Elliot has and still does face her own challenges in recovery. Her diagnosis is complex and when she needs hospital treatment, she expects to go to England. I needed specialist treatment um, uh, and that came in the form of having to go into hospital. However, there wasn't any beds in Wales and there wasn't any beds any closer to me than in London. So I spent three and a half months in an inpatient unit in London. Five years on and now an adult, the situation has not changed for those extreme cases of anorexia nervosa. Uh, there are no specialist inpatient beds for eating disorders in Wales and so that if someone was to require eating disorder treatment they'd have to go outside to England. Of course most mental health treatment in Wales doesn't require leaving the country. It's all computerised system so we know exactly um, who is where at any point in time. This secure unit in Pontadawi feels more like a hotel than a hospital. And with health boards slow to make referrals, only five out of 16 beds are in use. There's some blockage in the system, I think, um, which needs unlocking. Filling the space can't come soon enough, especially given the results they believe they can achieve here for their guests, as they're known. We're quite unique, actually. Um, I don't think there's anywhere like this in the UK and um, we've had some really good outcomes so far you know for individuals I think people are progressing really well uh, in a, a quite short period of time. The Welsh Government aspire to reduce numbers being treated outside of the country and also ensure existing facilities are being used properly. 11 empty beds at a facility at which there is undeniably demand mm. is a failing isn't it? It's part of the challenge we face within our service, getting people to use what's there that is what we think is going to be the service of the future. So absolutely, some progress has been made, but certainly not something that I would look you in the eye and say that this is fine and what we have now is satisfactory for the people of Wales. Actually, what we have now is a base to deliver further improvement on and that improvement is absolutely required. Mental health provision can be a postcode lottery here, especially away from the more populated areas travel will often be a necessity when it comes to finding treatment. Rupert Evelyn, News at 10, Wales.